Welcome, this is Alex from Freight Broker Training. Today we will talk about a topic that interests everyone, namely how to do a successful business without expenses even after unsuccessful attempts. You will learn how to start work correctly and what mistakes to avoid. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notification so you don't miss any new videos. For someone, starting a business is something challenging. For others, easy enough. Even a child, we dream about what we will do in life. Someone wants to become a lawyer, an engineer, a doctor and study at the university to work at their favorite job for a lifetime, maybe. But the truth is that everyone can start a business regardless of profession. For example, a history teacher might open a trucking company. How is this possible? He only knows how to teach and educate children. Actually, it's real. Using his knowledge of communicating with children, he can create a company with an unusual approach to customers and hires the best drivers and administrators. There is no need to hurry in business. Over 65 percent of successful companies people create at after the age of 40. Before that, they work as hired workers and try to do their businesses. We often hear a strange stereotype. Business should be done only on your experience. Let me tell you the story of my friend who created a multi-million company. He studied to be a conventional engineer. And after college, he started working in a call center, sold goods to people over the phone. After a few years, he thought he already knew everything about sales and he needed to create his own business. He opened his agency, which unfortunately exists for less than a year. A problem was that sales knowledge was insufficient to run his own business. But our friend thought such services were irrelevant, so the business closed. Then he decided to make a modern company and create software. It was pretty successful. The company has been operating for over three years, thanks partly to previous experience. But then the crisis began and he didn't know what to do and again closed his business. After such a failure, many people think the business is not mine. One day he heard about freight brokerage, growing very, very fast. Since he knew nothing about trucking and only saw trucks on the way home, he studied this topic for the first time. Our friend realized that trucking is something that will always exist. All things in our house is food. We have everything thanks to logistics. Additionally, the United States economy depends on trucks to deliver nearly 70% of all freight transport annually. Using his experience in software development and sales, he built a company. But not by himself, with experts in this area and business specialist. For half a year, he prepared for the start of work, studied and consulted with other people. Together, they concluded that the best option is to be an intermediary between carrier and manufacturers, so to speak, to help them work together. They made a unique program for quick work and didn't buy a single truck. It took him about 25,000 and start the business, of which he have 10,000 to a specialist to improve the business plan. Now his company produces more than 40 million dollars annually and works with 30,000 trucking companies. He achieved some success simply by doing that in necessary and valuable. Based on this story, we can draw such conclusion. Regardless of how professional a person 
is in his field and how many years he has worked creating a businesses requires a totally different knowledge. You must be prepared for what you have to learn lots and all the time. Your customer and competitors will constantly change, so you must know to act in different situations. Let's be honest, you probably have an idea for your own business. How long have you been thinking about it? A year? Two? Or as many as five? And each time you put it off for later because this is a significant risk. I might disappoint you, but there is always a risk. Today, tomorrow, yesterday. By postponing your idea for later, you risk not fulfilling your dream and not making a lot of money. I will tell you about a few things that pay an essential role is in starting your own business. First, one of the most important things is any business is customers. You need to understand your target audience and how you can help them. Your product or service should be helpful, unique and make people's life easier. You can make something wonderful and at the same time useless. For example, to transport good in a slow retro car. Who needs it? Modern people are not ready to spend money on nonsense. For, uh, so such a business cannot be successful. The second factor is competitors. They say the more customers for a product or services, the better. Along with this, you will have more competitors. By the way, there are a lot of companies in the field of logistics. To be precise, in 2021, there were more than 6,300,000 enterprises in the truck load market. But this doesn't mean that creating a business here in is unrealistic. You need to be different. Offer unique services. A new company needs to do something innovative. Something that can simplify the work of drivers or the process of transporting goods. For example, you could develop a program that will speed up the work process be between the supplier and the carrier, so that everything happens automatically. Success is granted if your customer can save time and earn more thanks to you. The third important thing is partners and specialists. Imagine that you are standing our that you are starting your own business and need to make a business plan. What are you going to do? Read the information on the internet or contact a specialist who know what to do. I hope you choose the second option. Because only the specialist will develop a business plan focused exclusively on your business and give you helpful advice. He will put you on the proper development path. On the internet, you will read general information that doesn't pay any role. The services of a specialist can be expensive, but believe, this cost will quickly return to you. The same goes for employees. It will be more profitable for you to pay more for a manager or market with experience in the logistic file than to try to do something on your own. They get paid for their expertise and you earn from their experience. Don't take on many tasks and responsibilities. It's possible to delegate tasks to other specialists. Do it. If you don't like or you don't know how to deal with finances, and trust this work to your partner. The fate of company is vital to him. Many people think working with partners or friends is impossible because there will always be misunderstandings. Believe me, this is not always the case. When choosing a partner for yourself, you must understand that he must 
compliment you. If you are good at marketing, then your partner should be good at finances. In other case, you may have conflict due to different views. In another case, you may have conflict due to different views if you are a specialist in the same field of activity. Running a business always requires you to keep abreast of the latest developments and keep an eye on the market, especially in the logistics industry. New technologies appear daily, the market changes, and you need to know how to act in different situations. You will constantly learn from your experience, explore your activities, and look for development opportunities. A business cannot be perfect, and there are always risks. You cannot get rid of them or avoid them. You just need to go your goal and achieve success. If your business is unsuccessful, it's not the end. This experience will allow you to create a new, incredible company, because you will know how to solve this or that problem. Use your ideas and your knowledge to the maximum. Assess any opportunities and risks. You can have 9 unsuccessful business ideas, but the 10th will become successful. The main thing is to move forward and not be afraid of failure. Don't forget that if you put a business idea in a deep pocket, it will not give any result. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos.